North Country 27 BHS by Heartland RV here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Extremely nice trade. Uh, we're very familiar with this camper. We were the original selling dealer of it to its one and only owner. Extremely well kept. Um, owned by a uh, grandpa grandma couple who just found out that the grandkids were growing up and not camping with them as much as they thought. So they brought it back here and swapped it out for a non-bunk house here at Haylet's. A lot of good stuff on this one I, I want to uh, hit on for you. Uh, this is a very clean trade with a lot of uh, almost hidden features like this uh, propane quick connect right here. If you want to put a grill on it, there's a you know a quick connect right up front. Um, if uh, the, the North Country was later rebranded as the Prowler. Uh, when Heartland bought Fleetwood's old towable names Prowler Mallard Wilderness, they, uh, they simply took the North Country sticker off the front, put a Prowler sticker on the front, and charged you more money for the name recognition. So this is the same trailer, well equipped for less money. Hard to beat. Previous owners put some nice accessory money in here. Um, the uh, power tongue jack up front uh, to uh, just make leveling and setting this easier again. They were a little bit older, not uh, you know the oldest folks out there, but anything they could do to make life a little easier on them. The uh, underbelly on this one was fully enclosed, which was an option at the time this was built. And that's kind of one of the reasons that uh, you'll see similar features so common nowadays. Heartland was really one of the driving factors behind so much of the RV changes that have taken place since 2009. They were willing to do things a little different. They didn't feel that everything had to look the same and uh, they weren't afraid to break a mold now and then. Um, again, clean camper, well kept. Nice things like this, like this has a backup assist camera right here. That's what this little guy is, so you can help see when you're backing up. Rear bumper slides out to be a, a light duty cargo uh, tray, roughly 200 pound capacity, I'm gonna estimate. Um, simply because it does stick out so far, I don't want you to over torque it. You see that it is your spare tire holder as well. And uh, this little post right here stands up and you can chain some bikes to it and have your own bicycle chain. What's nice is it keeps the bikes further away from the camper so if the bikes are shaking, they don't smack against the back of the trailer. If you look at some of my used trailers, you can see a few things where people did chain the bikes too close to the trailer and the handlebars ding the rear aluminum. Um, this has a uh, bunkhouse storage garage and a just a, a truckload of storage down here. First of all, one thing I want to point out, this bunk just flips up and latches against the wall so that you have this entire huge open cargo space and you can see that part of it is used up by a full RV cover that's a really big deal guys that's one of the reasons this camper still looks to be in such good shape is that it was covered when it was in storage not a bad thing of course um, the uh, oversized entry handle right here a little bit easier getting in and out gives you something to hold on to and again it's the little things that the folks put a few bucks into like the little step covers here so that their uh, steps would be uh, you know have a little more traction and they would slip slide around a little bit less walking inside very nice bright colors I specifically left all the lights off in this RV so that we only get light coming in from the windows and yet you see that it's still very bright very comfortable in here you definitely wouldn't need to turn any lights on right now Huge, critical, unique factor on these. Not 100% unique, but a defining quality. North Countries were built seven foot tall to the ceiling. This is six, uh, three to six inches taller than anything else out there. Six taller than most. Um, three inches taller than Jayco's, which are three inches taller than most, obviously. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of extra space and height in here. What that means with an extra tall roof is you have extra tall slide outs. That's where you get your extra space. This has more headroom in the shower in the slide out, in the bunks, and taller cabinetry as a result. There's four big advantages to those six extra inches. Um, this is used, but very well kept. You can see the fabrics are not shredded, frayed, torn up at all. I mean, even your very high traffic seating areas here, like right on the edge of the seats, that's where people tend to slide and grind against the fabrics. It's perfectly fine. Um, your windows offer you full privacy with pull down shades. So, uh, you know, if you, uh, you do wanna kinda keep people, you know, away from you you can <laughs> um excellent storage in this model that's one of my favorite parts about this one and I remember that extra tall height up here it's getting us so much extra overhead cabinet space that they went ahead and opened up these pockets here where most manufacturers would give you absolutely nothing um ball bearing drawer glides are very very common uh, essentially pretty much assumed standard equipment in travel trailers today 
it's because of campers like this North Country. Um, you know, like I said, we were carrying this trailer when it was really pretty new to the market and it had so many features that you hadn't seen in a travel trailer before, like the nicer drawer glides and whatnot. And this is an awesome space right here. This could be a linen space, pantry space, a little bit of both. It's large enough that you can probably find some, you know, food storage room and some clothing storage room for the kids back here. Um, the bunks used a little, not used a lot. This is what I call a Jack and Jill bunk, single overhead, double lower bed. What I like about the offset is that the kids can climb to the upper bunk. You don't have to heave them up there. Um, the uh, Also, the big advantage of going to this one is you do get this extra storage closet back here as well. Um, extra power outlets around sleeping areas are always a big thing that I like to look for. Uh, the uh, stool is a porcelain stool at this product level at this price point that was basically unheard of and again heartland was willing to be uh you know a bit of an innovator and go that extra mile now remember the extra tall ceiling in here means that even really tall guys like me we don't even come close to hitting our head in here not even close um moving forward again nice bright i like the the lighter wood cabinetry that honey oak look um, that's uh, something that has kind of faded out of the RV industry since roughly 2012 and forward. A lot of things went to a darker cherry finish, which admittedly does have a very rich look about it. But I like the brightness. I like how this looks. This is very sharp looking. A lot of stuff going on with your entertainment center here. Obviously a lot of storage. Notice that you do have sliding pocket doors. You don't have curtains on here. And I love that they made them raise panel doors. It just, it adds that that look, that three-dimensional look. Everything's not flat and boring in here. Your television obviously will spin. TV uh, is not included with this RV, as you see. There is a nice TV bracket here, though. Now, what's nice is the folks that own this previously, they put a, um, a vertical pitch TV mount in here. So once you put a television in, if you're laying down in bed, you can tip the TV down to face you so you don't have neck strain. Nice stuff, you know. They really thought well when they did this. The stereo is upgraded. Standard on this model was CD uh, player only. This is AM, FM, CD, and DVD with outside speakers and auxiliary inputs. It slices and dices and juliennes. Little detail stuff like this. The fact that we actually have a light switch for the bedroom walking into the bedroom. That's nice stuff that you don't really tend to find or expect. Both sides of the bed do have uh, bed stands with outlets, by the way. And they went with the full height, extra tall wardrobes with a little, nice little hidden pocket there. Apparently I need to clean my camera lens. That's looking terrible. Again, the extra height means extra tall storage up here where a lot of manufacturers aren't gonna give you anything. And a recessed headboard with a power outlet. So not only do you have power outlets on the sides of the bed, you have one right at your head. So uh, charging cell phones, alarm clocks, CPAP machines, they're all right up out of your way so that you're not gonna get tangled in this stuff. Even little detail things like a, uh, a vent above the bed in the bedroom. All this stuff, are these are things that you can find on campers today. Back when this was built, you could not. So this is built ahead of its time to the point that it's still very current today for today's specs and the way today's trailers are built. That's what's nice about it. You guys are going to get a, uh, a pre-owned trailer that is not worked over. This is in very good shape that has been very well kept with a full trailer cover that you don't have to worry about depreciation on. You're just going to get a very uh, well uh, maintained used trailer at a good price and go camping and have fun with your family. If you've never had a camper before, this is, this is the perfect way to start camping. You know, if you're a young family getting started, I always tell people buy your second trailer first. Usually that means go with the one with the slide out versus the one without the slide out. Well, you get that here and you get one that's not worked over and you get one that's been, I, I guess for lack of a better phrase, broken in. You know, like when you get a new car, they tell you, you know, don't just go 90 mile an hour down the road right away. Don't be hard on the accelerator. You gotta ease it in and let everything get lubricated. This is all, this has been used. This has been taken care of. This has been proven and tested. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.